Howdy from Texas. This is Heath Hipple with Bugs Fishing, and we're going to tie three versions of the flats bug. We're going to tie them on three different heads, and I will explain to you the different versions as we go along. The first one we're going to tie is the 3 16 ounce version of the natural color, and we're going to tie it just like all production bugs are made right now. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take a bug's screw lock, and we're going to cut we're going to use wire cutters and we're going to cut the tag end off of it and you'll see why in just a second so these this is a bonefish jig head in 3 16 ounce and it has a it has a collar on it and we want this screw lock to go right up against the collar and so that's why we cut that's why we cut the uh the tag end off of the screw lock so we're going to put that in the vise and we're using uh, Danville 210 denier thread. And we're gonna start by wrapping the thread on the collar. And so to, to secure that screw lock, we're gonna take the thread right here and do a half hitch. To secure that screw lock, we're going to tie it in tight up against the collar. And we're gonna do a whip finish knot right here. So that'll keep that in place and we will use that to, to secure the soft plastic tail. Okay. Next, we're going to tie in the weed guard pieces. And we're using 25 pound Mason hard mono. And we're using a single piece on this one. And so we're gonna hold that piece on top and notice how the it's curving that way. That's gonna help us line it up on the hook point. Later on, we're gonna, we're gonna check and make sure that's kind of in the middle. Not kind of, it needs to be in the middle. Okay. So we're going to secure that with thread all the way up to the, to the head. So right on the collar. All right. So this is a pretty simple jig. It's a collar, a top piece, and some flash. And the collar we're going to use for this natural color is the light tan or light brown or ginger rabbit and this is a micro strip it's the most narrow and so we're going to this is this is the side where the hair is coming that way and we're going to cut a little angle here and i'll show you why in just a second So there's that angle. We're gonna pull the hairs back and we're gonna tie it on top. And we're gonna, it makes it, that angle makes it easier to tie in with these thread wraps, okay? We don't want that going anywhere, so we're gonna put a three turn, four turn knot there. Pull that tight and move our thread forward. Half hitch. Okay. So we are what's going to call Palmer. We're going to Palmer this rabbit strip. Palmer just means wrap. And you see how the hairs, the hairs of the rabbit are kind of straight. We want them, we want to pull them back. And so they are, they're going towards the back of the jig. And so they don't fold over on themselves. And that's one. And here is two wraps of that micro rabbit strip. And you see how we're getting close to the, uh, close to the head. And so we separate the, separate the fiber, the hairs right there. We're gonna wrap that three times. And then we're gonna cut that, we're gonna cut that piece of micro rabbit. Then we're gonna tie that off. All right, 
So we have the collar. And next we're gonna use a one inch piece of Magnum Rabbit Strip, and that's gonna be on top. And you'll notice I used an X-Acto knife and I cut a slit right here at the end. And that's gonna allow this top piece to slip over the hook point. And I cut it long enough to where you can slip it on and off to change out the tail. And so slide that over. Secure it in the vise. And we're going to make, let's even that up a little bit. There we go. We're going to make our first set of wraps and we're going to leave a little tag end and I'll tell you why. So this is the tag end that I'm talking about. Now, I cut three pieces each of Bonefish Tan and UV Tan Crystal Flash. And I want these to be on each side and I want them to be the length of these hairs out here. So I'm gonna lay them right here on the side, even, even right there. Put about three good wraps right there. Now that tag is gonna help us bring these pieces of crystal flash. There we go. Help bring those around. And we're gonna start making thread wraps and then we're gonna pull these pieces of flash kind of up. And I say up, we want them to still be in line right there. And so now they're in the right spot and so I'm gonna make more thread wraps to make sure those are secure. And I'm gonna put a wood finish knot right here. Okay, so over here, before I go any further, I'm gonna even these up. All right, so the last thing Last thing I need to do is to put a couple more thread wraps here to cover the tag end of that rabbit. And these are gonna be relatively loose. And then I'm gonna move the thread behind that weed guard piece. And see how it's kind of off to the side? I'm gonna pull it over just a little bit. And then I'm gonna fold it over. And as I fold it over, I want it to be in line with the hook. And then I'm gonna make thread wraps right here. So now I'm gonna cut it, check, see how it's in line with that hook. That's how we want it. And so it will tend to come up a little bit. that tag in just a little bit more. It will tend to come up this way a little bit. And so we want to push it a little bit further, make a few more thread wraps there. There we go. Before we put the head cement on. Okay. I kind of wanted to creep over there. Okay, there we go. We're in good shape there. Put hard as all head cement here. That'll make the jig last longer, protect those thread wraps. All right. So as I'm thinking about this, I think we're gonna do the tails at the end. We're gonna let these dry. So that is the 3 16 ounce natural version of the jig. Same way, same way you can buy it right now on the website. Okay? There's one. Okay. Next, we're gonna use an eighth ounce version of the jig head. And this is the turtle color. So we're gonna tie the turtle version of this jig. Okay. 
and secured. We're going to switch out the thread for olive. Same, same type, Danville 210 denier. And so this version, this version is something I've just thought of. It's a little bit more simple. It uses a little bit less material. And the main reason I'm experimenting with this is that I think it might, uh, I think it might save some hassle with the tail. And I'll explain that when we get to the end, we're putting the tails on. Okay, so again, single, single post of Mason 25 pound hard mono. Oops. You gotta gradually increase the strength of your thread wraps on these. And then cinch them down better when you have your, your weed guard in the general place where you want it. And so we're pretty good there. So we can make some tighter thread wraps. Whoops. All right. So we're going to do, this is what we're going to do differently on this one. The top piece is going to be different. It's still magnum, but we're going to tie it in like this. Okay. We're going to take the end, push the hairs back. And I'll show you, I'll tell you why in just a second. Push the hairs back and we're gonna tie it in on top. And since the top piece is tied in on top like that, we're gonna tie the collar on the bottom. So we're gonna flip it over. So this is uh, olive barred light olive, and this is called groovy olive, and that's what the collar is going to be. Kind of like if you if you're a if you tie dyed rabbit, you'd get this groovy olive, and it's 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 white, and it's some olive and some yellow. So we cut we cut an angle on this piece, as you see there, same as we did. I'm going to tie that in on top. Okay. Now we're going to Palmer that. If you remembered on the last one, we Palmer twice. We're going to do the same thing here. And if you remember on the last one, we wanted to, we want to, get the hairs going this way so they won't wrap over themselves. So we'll go one, one, two, okay. Separate the hairs, tie it off. Now we'll cut it. Pull them back, and then we're gonna secure that collar. Okay, so we've secured the collar. We're gonna flip it back around. Now, we're going to separate the hairs on top We're gonna pull that top piece forward. Then we're gonna separate the hairs on top again. And I gotta get a bodkin. So 
So this is a bodkin. It's basically a pen with a handle. And this is gonna come in handy right there because we want to separate the hairs nice and neatly right there. Okay. So we're going to put two, now we're going to do three, two, okay. I did three wraps and now we're going to cut that top piece. You want to cut it close to the head. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to cut that again. Let's see. Got to be careful here not to cut the, the weed guard piece. And we can cover this up with thread. It's just going to look cleaner the more of that top piece that we cut. Okay. Okay, so now this is the turtle color. Almost knocked over the camera again. It's a turtle color and we use blue and UV blue flash. And so the flash is not gonna be as long on this one because the top piece isn't as long. Okay. So we're gonna bring it right here around that, that tag. Okay, go ahead and cut these. Alright. So now we're gonna, we're gonna cover this the excess top and a lot of that flash with thread before we move that weed guard into place. Okay, we're close here. And our weed guard got pushed to the side and so we're going to get it going in the direction of the hook point, but we should have been more careful to keep that weed guard lined up as we were making the thread wraps. And that just happens. Okay, we're going to move, move it this way. Let's cut that, let's trim that weed guard and see how it's lining up. Get the hairs out of the way. Okay. Pretty much lined up. A couple more thread wraps because, like I said, it will tend to come up. And let's, whoops, let's do a whip finish behind there. That's not perfect, but the weed guard is generally going in the right direction. There we go. Head submit. So this is version two of the flats bug. And so I wanted to simplify it a little bit. And I wanted to avoid the problem that you sometimes have with the tails. OK. 
Okay, so we're going to set this aside, and now we're going to tie the third version. So a few months ago, I had a quarter ounce version of the Bugs Bonefish Jig Head made. Customers have been requesting it for a little while, and I got it. I got it done. And so here is a quarter ounce Bugs Bonefish Jig Head. The collar is the same. The hook is a little bigger, and the head is bigger to accommodate that extra lead. And so here is a quarter ounce version of a flats bug. And we're going to tie it a little differently than the past two. The profile is a little bit different. I say different. It's a little bit bigger. The lure. And so there's going to be a couple changes that you'll see. Now you'll notice on the first one I put in that screw lock. The last one and this one I'm not going to put in the screw lock. It's kind of a pain to cut that tag off and to push it up against there. And to be honest, I don't know how much it helps. So I'm just, I'm in the, I'm at the point where I'm going to experiment to see how big a difference it makes. All right, so this one, we're going to do double weed guards. So this is two, two pieces of 25 pound. So we're going to make several wraps here. We want these to be on top. Oops. There we go. It's all right. So I'm going to make loose thread wraps at first. Then when I'm, I'm going to get them into place and they're where I want them, then I'm going to start making tighter thread wraps. And we'll start putting some putting some knots in there. So they're gonna end up being on either side of that middle, that uh, spine, I guess you could say, of the head. And so we are ready to put on the collar of this jig. And the collar is the same as the other sizes. It's micro rabbit. And we're gonna cut, cut it at an angle right at the end. There we go. I'm going to pull those hairs back. I'm going to tie it in on top. Whoops. Okay. So I'm going to trim these weed guard pieces because they're kind of in the way and I know that we're going to have plenty. We're still in the right spot. Okay. So we move the thread a little bit further down, half hitch. And we're going to palmer it twice. Same thing. You're going to pull the hairs this way as you wrap. So here's once, twice. Okay, so you get here, separate the hairs, and tie it off. three times and you wrap three times so when you cut it it doesn't unravel there you go so collar is done okay so there's the collar and this um, it's gonna be one each one inch piece of magnum and I cut that slit in there with the X-Acto knife. So pierce that hook, take it out. Okay. 
okay, so I want it to be in the middle. Okay, I'm secure that top piece with thread and a knot. All right, now crystal flash on this one is gold and UV tan. And so like we did before, it's going to extend to the, the end of the top piece. Make some thread wraps. Bring it across. Okay. While we're over here, let's just trim it. Okay. All right. Now let's get those weed guards. Let's bring them together just a little bit and then push them towards a the hook point and then make thread wraps behind them to secure them. And so this is a heavier version. I mean, I don't think there's you're any more or less likely to throw them into thicker grass, whatever size, but this is just an example of how you can easily incorporate a double weed guard. Okay. So let's bring them together a little bit and then push them. I want to make sure they're okay. Pretty well in line. Bring it this way just a tad. Bring it together. There we go. Okay. Well, they're kind of uneven. Hold on a second. Okay, I like the position, so let's do a whip finish. All right, let's cut the thread. Don't know why I'm using these dull scissors. All right, let's put hard as hall head cement. Now, before we take it out, let's trim these weed cards just a little bit. All right. So there is the, and these are all without the tail first. That's the quarter ounce black gold. There's the eighth ounce turtle version, and then three sixteenths ounce natural version. All right, so I'm gonna start with the natural and I'm gonna put on the tails. Okay, so so this is exactly how they're produced and sold right this second. So the top piece of rabbit slips off the tail Pull everything back. And this is a, this is like two and a quarter inch grub. And I want it to be up when the lure is sitting on the bottom. And so, I'm gonna go just not very far at all down the, down the, gr the grub. I'm gonna push it up against that screw lock. And if it's, if it's relatively even, it's gonna go on. There we go. Okay, so that's definitely not going anywhere and the tail is up like it should. And I'm gonna put the top piece, wrap it on there. Okay, when, you're, when your uh, head cement is kind of wet, sometimes it'll stick. Okay, so that's the flats bug. This 
this works, occasionally the tail will get caught up in those hairs. Okay? That's just how it's just how it happens. Occasionally the tail will get caught up in those hairs. And so that's one of the reasons I made the you know the change to the other one. One way that you can keep that from happening is take scissors. Take scissors and to cut some of the, those hairs at the end. And I'm going to put my scissors right along the rabbit there. Cut those hairs. And you got to put your scissors right along, right along the back. And so you still have these top hairs. It's just shortened it just a little bit. Okay, and so it's less likely to catch right there, but you still have that good profile. Okay, so there's the 316 ounce version right there. So this is the eighth ounce version that we tied with the collar, and we didn't put the top piece is different. You know, it doesn't extend past the doesn't extend past the the hook. Okay, and so to put the tail on this one, we use a glow tail. So you pull, pull them out, pull it out of the way. Same thing, you want it going up. Don't go too far at all. Okay. And so this way, the hair, it shortens the profile just a little bit to do that top differently. The hairs are not going to interfere with the grub, and it's still a really good profile. So I don't know if we're going to make this change in the future, but this is an idea and something to consider when you're tying your own. So that's the eighth ounce with that shorter top piece. Okay? Now... This is the quarter ounce version of that black gold. And since this is a bigger head, a bigger hook, I think it looks just fine to use a bigger grub. This is a three inch grub. And so you slip the top piece off. You blow on everything and pull it back. Hook's tail's gonna be up. You don't go very far. Okay. So this is the quarter ounce version with a three inch grub. It's not gonna interfere with that top piece. And so this is definitely how the production version of the quarter ounce is gonna be. And I didn't put a screw lock there. And like I said, I'm experimenting. I'm trying to figure out how much of a difference it makes. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Um, but anyway, this is a, like I said, that's a three inch version of the flat spud. These, everything eats these. You know, bonefish, permit, all kinds of snapper, any like, Barracuda, even anything you'll find on flats, you know, tropical flats. And then when you get a little bit further north, redfish, flounder, speckled trout, snook, you know, anything that you'll find in, you know, in, in shallow saltwater flats, you know, basically anywhere in the world. And they will always land hook point up. And like I said, everything eats them. And so I hope y'all will tie some flats bugs. Um, they can also be fished without the, the grub. Uh, like I said, I hope y'all will tie some flats bugs. They're not too hard to tie. There's there's three different ways that I showed y'all here and, uh, and they work really, really well. All right, questions, please put them in the comments below. Subscribe if you like these videos, you know that drill, and uh, I'll catch you later.